Hello friends, in our last lesson we learned that equal chords of a circle subtend equal angles at the center. This means if length of AB and CD chords is equal then angle AOB and angle COD would be equal. This theorem leads to another important theorem. Equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center. By distance we mean perpendicular distance which is the shortest distance. This means we need to draw perpendicular on chord AB and CD from the center O to find the distance between the chords and the center. And we need to prove that OM is equal to ON that is equal chords of a circle that is given a b and c d as the chords which are equal in length they are equidistant from the center this means o m is equal to o n that is what we need to prove let's do that a b is equal to c d we are given we draw perpendicular o m and o n from the center o and we learnt earlier that it would bisect the chords so AM will be half of AB and DN will be half of CD as the two chords are equal that is AB equal to CD which is given so their halves would, will be equal to this means AM will be equal to DN now we join OA and OD So the triangle AOM and DON are the right angle triangles. So we need to show hypotenuse and one other side are equal. Hypotenuse OA and OD are equal as they are radii of the same circle. AM is equal to DN, we just now proved it. So triangle AOM is congruent to triangle DON following the RHS rule. Hence. OM is equal to ON as the they are the corresponding sides of the congruent triangles. So we can say equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center because OM is equal to ON. We can easily prove the opposite theorem too that is chords equidistant from the center of a circle are equal in length. So we are given OM equal to ON and we need to prove that chords are equal that is AB is equal to CD. We take the same diagram in triangle AOM and DON hypotenuse OA and OD are equal as they are radii of the same circle. OM is equal to ON which is given here because chords are equidistant from the center that is given. So triangle AOM and triangle DON are congruent triangles following the RHS rule. Hence AM is equal to TN corresponding sides are equal. And we know AM is half of AB and DN is half of CD because we know from the other theorem the perpendicular from the center bisects the chord so we can say AB is equal to CD this means chords equidistant from the center of a circle are equal in length that's all for now bye bye